Humans have been fascinated by thoughts of discovery and hidden worlds for thousands of years. The ancient Greeks told myths of Atlantis and Europeans arrived in the New World in the 15th century. Even now, some people believe that more continents may exist. Welcome to Z. And today we're delving more into the unusual hypothesis that Antarctica and Earth in general may be harboring a secret continent. Do you require answers to the major questions? Then why not subscribe to Z for more videos like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking information. Antarctica was a secret continent for the majority of human history. Its existence has been theorized for centuries and it has been described as Terra Australis, meaning Southern Land, since at least the 16th century when it first appeared on maps. The reasoning was that the Northern Hemisphere appeared to have more land than the Southern Hemisphere, which is correct. The Southern Hemisphere has 20% of the world's land mass versus 40% in the North. It was assumed that Earth had an equal amount of land in each half, so there had to be more land somewhere down there. As a result, early modern cartographers accounted for this by including the as-yet-undiscovered landmass Terra Australis on their maps. It took another three centuries, until January 1820, for Antarctica to be seen and documented by human eyes. Today, we know that Antarctica exists and is far larger than the cold lands of the Arctic Circle. Many explorers have perished in the Antarctic, adding to the mystery. People desire to explore and understand its mysteries, risking their lives in the most hostile and dangerous environment on the planet in the cause of scientific discovery. Even today, we're learning a lot about Antarctica, including the possibility of a secret planet beneath its frozen surface. In 2022, scientists reported discovering an entirely new world beneath the ice. Scientists discovered a subsurface river in the massive Ross Ice Shelf and drilled down to see if anything was living in the freezing water. Yes, there were life forms down there, and there were a lot of them, small crustaceans that clustered around the camera equipment that the scientists had sent down there. They'd never seen anything like a camera before, and they might never have seen sunlight living so deep beneath so many layers of ice. Scientists did not discover many distinct species, but the shrimp suggest that there is a much larger ecosystem surviving down there that we know very little about. Stranger still, in early 2022, a massive underwater volcano erupted in the Pacific Ocean, causing a tsunami that was felt in the under-ice world that Antarctic scientists were studying. As a result, this icy ecosystem is clearly linked to the rest of the ocean in ways we may not have discovered yet. This occurred over 1,600 feet beneath the ice's surface. Satellite imagery assisted scientists in determining where to look. They could see from the air that there was a huge depression in the ice sheet, leading them to believe there was an underwater river, and they eventually found this groove on the surface. It was a remarkable discovery, and we can't wait to see further research conducted. Maybe we could send proper submersible probes down there one day, able to explore far better than a camera attached to a long wire. Antarctica is also hiding evidence of continental formation itself. The continents as they are now formed over billions of years, the entire lifetime of the Earth, moving and shifting significantly. But the land underneath the Antarctic ice bears evidence of these other land masses, some more similar to Australia and other parts more similar to South America. Scientists are using new methods, called gravity images, to map out what the land under the ice looks like, which will hopefully help us to reduce further melting, or, at the very least, understand how melting ice will change Antarctica and the rest of the planet. However, Antarctica is not the only continent discovered in the Southern Hemisphere. Some researchers suggested in the 1990s that there was evidence to name Zealandia a new continent. Zealandia is a massive continental crust plateau. The Earth's crust is made up of two layers, continental crust and oceanic crust, with land masses made up of the former. Even though it is not oceanic, this crust is almost entirely submerged underwater in Zealandia. The few parts that are above sea level are New Zealand itself and its many islands, as well as New Caledonia and other island territories in the South Pacific. 
In 2017, you may have heard it reported that Zealandia had been named a new continent despite its small size. This is partly true, as geologists agree that it does meet the criteria. And you may be surprised to learn that microcontinents exist, too, though researchers say Zealandia would not be one of them. The biggest microcontinent in the world is Madagascar, which is on a fragment of continental crust not connected to another, larger piece. So, here we have a real case of a secret continent hidden and obscured by the ocean, not recognized as such until very recently. But while the existence of Antarctica was theorized for years before its discovery, other mysterious continents have never been found. The lost continent concept in mythology can be traced back to Atlantis, but similar to Atlantis is the lost continent of Mu. Mu is supposed to be a vast, missing continent that once existed in the center of the Pacific Ocean, much like Zealandia. The story of Mu isn't thousands of years old, though, it's not even as old as the concept of Terra Australis. It appeared in the 19th century after British-American antiquarian Augustus Luplongin claimed to have translated Mayan inscriptions. He stated the writings showed a land called Mu had once existed and had, at some point, been lost, much like Atlantis, which itself has been variably believed to be either an island, city, or a whole continent and lost civilization. Some even argue that the peculiar Yanaguni monument in Japan is part of Mu, but geologists disagree not only with this assessment, but the whole premise that an entire continent can fall into the sea so swiftly at all. Changing topography and rising and declining sea levels are to responsible for continents like Zealandia becoming submerged, not a bizarre, apocalyptic occurrence. And there's even another, even bizarre continent that many have thought is lost in the southern hemisphere, the missing continent of Lemuria in the Indian Ocean. The idea is comparable to Mu, and in fact, writing about Lemuria may have influenced writings about Mu. It all boiled down to the fact lemurs aren't found in many areas in the world, just in South Asia and Madagascar. In the 1860s, biologist Philip Sclater hypothesized that maybe there was a submerged continent that had formerly been home to all the lemurs who migrated elsewhere. This is obviously not true and was fully disproved roughly 50 years later, however at the time it was conceived, it was a legitimate scientific notion deserving of further examination, after all, lemurs are weird creatures. But as far as we know, there is no lost realm of the lemurs, lost continent of Mu, or buried city of Atlantis. However, as of summer 2022, still just a fifth of the seafloor had been mapped. Until we have a complete topographical picture of the seafloor, the tales about missing continents might not disappear. And there's every chance we could make another find like Zealandia, or the weird landmasses under the Antarctic ice. Do you think lost continents could exist, submerged underneath the ocean? Let us know in the comments. Due to the consequences of global warming, the Antarctica that could someday be revealed by melting sea ice might count as a secret continent. Antarctica is rock and land covered in ice, in contrast to the Arctic, which is nearly totally composed of ice. Some artistic and CGI impressions have been developed by NASA to demonstrate what Antarctica would look like with no ice at all. There are some claims that, one day, we could witness it in real life. It's a bleak future, but potentially one we should prepare for. Iceless Antarctica would be a big, mountainous region surrounded by the ocean, and rising sea levels would cut off a lot of the land. It's not clear how much warmer it would be without the ice, since the ice on its own also contributes to keeping temperatures lower, but it would likely still be the coldest place on Earth, and in a worst-case scenario, may therefore become our best chance for survival, should we ever need to escape the heat. Of course, in a perfect world, it would never come to this. Antarctica actually was a hidden continent throughout most of human history, and scientists are continuously finding new, thrilling discoveries about the mysterious world below. Meanwhile, there are a plethora of additional legends and stories concerning vanished places on Earth's surface but beneath the ocean, some of which are more scientifically credible than others. That is the bizarre hypothesis that Antarctica and the Earth in general may be hiding a secret continent. What are your thoughts? 
Is there anything we left out? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our latest content.